Ladies and gentlemen, now for your official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 68. He's 18, stands 6'1". He fights at a combat academy and hails from Abigley, Warren Jones. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 68. He's 30, stands 5'6". He fights out of Middlesbrough Fight Academy and hails from Middlesbrough, Mustafa Hanifi. Your referee, Mr. Paul Crossley. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the third amateur contest of the afternoon. This in the lightweight division. Warren Jones representing Combat Academy and Hammer fighting out of the red corner. He's in the black RDX trimmed with white as he takes on Middlesbrough Fight Academies with Mustafa Hanif. Both these young men looking for their first win. 0 and 1 for both. And uh, Warren straight out and straight to business. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's a real concept that when you're looking for your first win, sometimes you can get too desperate, but we'll, you know, we'll see how it plays out. But Hanif in nice and deep on the body lock, looking Trying for the ankle the ankle, pick. reaps the leg. Beautiful work there, but Jones just looking to climb the cage and getting collapsed back down. Yeah, very heavy on top. Mustafa Hanif at the moment. That's it, and just getting his head to the fence, making sure there's no escape route for Jones. Oh, and starting to chip away. Not many shots, but picking the shots. Absolutely, looking to get position. Yeah. Right now, it's that knee shield keeping him at bay. Yep. Now, the problem here is Jones is holding on to that overhook so much. He needed to swim that into an under so he could turn out. The, the overhook can work, but not in that position because you are basically pulling that man down onto you and in, encouraging him to stay there. And I've got to say, Mustafa Hanif bringing this fight right where he wants it against the much rangier Warren yes. Jones. This is... And can't work behind that length when that, you're on the ground. I <laughs> say, so we're all the same size laid down. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's... Um, very, very controlling there by um, Hanif. And just sat sat on that leg like Jones thinks he's got Hanif's leg locked up. Hanif's actually sat on, sat on the it. leg yeah. and it's doing him a favor because half guard against the fence just ensures that you can't escape the leg to climb the fence and start that work. Thank you, Randy Couture. That's it. I like the way that Jones, though, isn't allowing, you know, trying to stay on the hips, not allowing yep. both shoulders to touch the canvas, he says, and still working to keep yep. those hips. I think at this point now he's just out of um, ideas, and he's looking to maybe scoot under and retrieve guard, oh. but Hanif locks up a guillotine and looks to step over oh. to mount, nice. and this could be nasty. The only thing that could be saving Jones here is the size of the gloves because the arm wasn't fully deep on the oh, neck. But geez, now the adjustment tight. has been made and Hanif just squeezing. Jones slips out, Hanif straight into the ground and pound for and, mount. And do you notice straight away shuffles to make sure that Warren Jones is flush up against that cage again, taking away that space to move. That's it. And You'd like to see Jones at least just walk the fence and off balance Hanif right now. Hard to walk the fence when you got big, strong shots like these coming down. Yeah, and what a dominant first Good. round there by Hanif. You know, is there an argument maybe for a 10-8 there? Yes, because it wasn't just dominant position, it was dominant position and dominant striking and dominant grappling. Like, there was every area of that going on, he was the dominant party. However, Warren Jones has given himself given himself a chance. He's still yeah. in this two rounds. And every fight starts on the feet. Absolutely. And, you know, Mustafa Hanif put a lot of work in there. He did indeed. Um, but you've got to think if this is how he fights, this is how he trains. So he should be fairly fit, you know, more, more than fit enough to carry it out over three rounds. But then when you take into fact, you know, especially early on in your career, the nerves, the energy wasted through that. You know, you can be doing like five fives and struggle with three threes on the night. Yeah. <laughs> well, cage door set to close. Round two, Warren Jones, the Combat Academy Hammer athlete in the black RDX white trim. Mustafa Hanif, the Middlesbrough Fight Academy.
Gonna be black under armor. And now if you you're Jones, you want to use your range and use your angles. You don't want to be moving straight back because Hanif will jump on that and put you against the fence. Yeah, I don't want to work behind lots of straight That's shots. It. They're like yeah. that. Beautiful double and jab that cross. Him. And now Hanif is looking to clinch, but you do not want to be clinching with Hanif. Not after the first round. No, I, I, I think that was that some of those shots landed and Hanif needed to get in. Now this is it. Any steps back from the center of the cage, he needs to circle out. He needs to be looking to fight his way into the center of the cage. Oh, be lovely bit of wrestling there. Lovely, and it was a little bit of luck as well. Um, luck and knowledge came into that. He chopped down with a leg kick, took the leg kick, and he fell into the double leg. Um, it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. And but he was more than knowledgeable enough to know that he was in that position to grab a hold of something. You can hear the Warren Jones corner saying there's no cardio there anymore. You have to fight your way out. There's no cardio there anymore. But I beg to differ I because I don't think there's any cardio there on the feet for Hanif. I think that if he's going to run out of energy, it's going to be through the striking arts. But then when you're a wrestler and you're in a wrestling position, the, the, the cardio's there. Yeah. <laughs> the cardio's there. Well, saw Jones locking in the body triangle there for a moment, but you know, are you going to move your man from there? Are you going to get him off you with a body triangle locked the in? The body triangle from guard is literally just promoting your man to stay in that position and punch you in the face. You know, you, you need to be opening up your guard. And, and with the length, that natural length he's got, surely the butterflies, the feet on hips yep. pushing away. That's it. I mean, essentially, you're just holding your opponent closer to you. Yeah, so he can... It's like he, you're holding him on top. He's scoring the points for it, you're doing the work. Now, if he was, I'd like to see him work it up a little bit higher if he's going to yeah. threaten with a triangle. But yeah. right now, it's it's like I'm going to hold you in place. Maybe try to disrupt your breathing a little bit. But yeah. But with, with legs that long, would it disrupt your breathing? You see these long limb people in a, you know, at all for a weight class. And the body triangle isn't that effective because it is a bigger, it's yeah. covering a bigger surface area. So at that point, you see it every week, you know, fights all over the country. These people go to the body triangle because it's the lesser of the rest of the evils. Yeah. Well, oh, Mr. A little bit of miscommunication there. You know, Mr. Crossley, I wanted to see more action. Off we get. 10 seconds left to go, though. And uh, I think. Obviously, when you take a striker into that wrestling world, it, hit, it will hit your cardio. It yeah. will. You know, it's like if you put a wrestler in a striking world, it'll, hit, it'll tax the cardio more than it would in the wrestling. And I just think that, you know, Jones has gone from nearly finishing his man to, you know, through no fault of his own, he threw the low kick and, and he fell into the takedown, secured it. And it's just the way it goes sometimes. But I just think that looking at both figures, they're as tired as each other right now. Or that's the way it appears. Yeah. But we've got a very um, exciting third round ahead of us because, yes, the first round, that, that could have easy been a 10-8. What are you going to strike? What, what, what are you going to score in the second round? Are you going to score the control from being in somebody's guard and the limited pit of patter shots? Or are you going to score the fact that That's he nearly finished his man on the feet? feet you know, Again, always wiser heads than mine will make those decisions. Cage door set to close, third and final round. Warren Jones again, the Combat Academy Hammer representative in the RDX, black trimmed with white. Mustafa Hanif, the Middlesbrough Fight Academy man in the black under armor. And we'll see how quickly Hanif chooses to close the distance again. Now, I would, to Jones, I'd like to see him box more, kick less. Yeah. You know, don't give him anything to grab hold of. Or don't give him any of those opportunities. Trying to get his balance back, but. Yeah. There was no way that Hanif was not going to chase that down. No, that was his opportunity. That was his opening, and I was just oh, saying. Outside trip brings him down. Side Beautiful. control, good position here for Hanif at the moment. And his hips are so strong. Hanif's hips just are holding that position. But it was the kickings that the oh, kicking. Oh, big knee to the body. Sorry, oh, Danny. I do like a knee to I the body. You do. I know you do. I promise before I retire, I'll give you a beautiful one. <laughs> Sweet. 
with our say he's just pressuring his man he's mauling his man he's making his man feel like he's drowning in deep water right now because he has spent the majority oh. of two rounds in this position another good knee to the body We're working really well to try and Jones looking to grip a leg but not doing anything with it he needs to turn back with it but he's not he's just following his man and trying to make sure his man doesn't pass too far and having been stood up already once in this fight you would imagine that Mustafa and he's gonna be wise enough to stay busy oh definitely locking himself into the half guard no, I say, and you know, this is, even though Jones has got him in half guard, this is Hanif's half guard. Yes. You know, he, he, it works for him. His style of striking on the ground, the smothering effect. But sitting in half guard just ensures that you haven't got one of your legs to skate with. Absolutely, and it's now, it really is, a minute left to go, it really is on Warren Jones to find a way to either get this back to its feet or hunt that guard and, and the submission that follows it. I wouldn't Here's hold corner. out too much hope for the submission from the guard, though, because we had two minutes of the guard last round, and not one submission was thrown up. He was content to hold his man in tight. But Hanif just Chip. taking over here now. Absolutely chipping away. Nothing hugely concussive, but plenty of little shots. And again, I'll, I'll never, ever, <laughs> ever, ever get tired of knees to the body to a grounded <laughs> opponent. Never. Oh, they are a beautiful thing. Couple of little hammer fists, 20 seconds left to go, and Mustafa Anif, you figure, is doing enough to hang on and take this fight. Yep. Again, knees to the body. They're gonna let him get up. Ten uh, seconds yeah. left, and that was a bit it was a great fight. They both had success in their own realms. It's just that Hanif's success took up more of the time yeah he managed to close the distance just a little more off and get this fight where he wanted it if i'm jones i'm learning from this wrestlers want to catch things and round two he threw a kick that ultimately led to the takedown round three he threw a kick and missed that ultimately led to the takedown you're playing with fire when you offer a wrestler a leg even if they don't take the leg as you saw other things will come from it absolutely you know he went high had that stumble yeah. and then we had the little chase around the cage as he tried to get his feet underneath him he tried did the right to get his thing balance yeah after making the mistake but so hanif on him oh just relentless and he did not stop he did not slow down give a quick shout out to our sponsors intelligent fs eric's fight gear valhalla fightwear vulcanite and andy whitlow joinery thank you for sponsoring almighty fighting cage, championships let's turn this cage. over to mr seth Khan, and he will make this result official ladies and gentlemen after three hard four round we go to the judges scorecard which are as follows 30 26 30 27 30 27 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner mustafa hanifi please show your appreciation for warren jones <laughs>